Hey, yo, it's Brandon, and welcome back to Free Space, the Great Tool. If you recall last time, we found out about uh, a new sentient species that is apparently invulnerable. So, uh, looking a little dodgy, but uh, let's get into it. Terran Command has confirmed the existence of a new species. Until further contact is established, Command has designated them Sheevans. The Sheevans have inflicted heavy casualties to both Terran and Vasudan forces in the Beta Cygni and Vega systems, and appear to be making a rapid push into other key systems along the Terran Vasudan front. All contact has been lost with our forces in the IKEA and Ross 128 system. Hmm. The Vasudan government has contacted the GTA and proposed a ceasefire. Considering the reports regarding the Vasudan and Terran losses to the Sheevans, this should not come as a surprise. Terran Command has not yet responded. Expect to hear more from Terran Command on this later today. All Sheevan forces should be considered a serious threat. You are authorized to engage any Sheevan ship that stands in the way of your mission objectives. Attempts to establish communication with the Sheevans have failed. Intelligence will continue its attempts to learn more about this new adversary. What little information has been learned about Sheevan technology concerns their fighter shielding system. The shield system makes them nearly impervious to our ML-16 laser. R&D is currently modifying the Avenger prototype cannon to make it more useful against the shields. Additionally, our fighters cannot target their ships due to our lack of data regarding the Sheevan electronic systems. Plans are currently underway to remedy this situation. Terran Intelligence is working around the clock to give us more information. Until then, we have been ordered to move into the Beta Cygni system and monitor any activity. Ooh. All right. Due to increased encounters with Sheevan forces, Terran Command has ordered the Galate to the Beta Cygni system to monitor Sheevan activity. The Galate has taken quite a beating since her last repair. And there isn't time to follow the safest route. The Antares Beta Cygni jump node lies in the center of a dense asteroid field, making it one of the least used jump nodes in the galaxy. Standard procedure would have us circumvent this node completely, requiring two jumps. Now we have no choice. Weapon systems have taken damage from enemy bombers. Galate should be able to make it through the asteroid field, but Alpha Wing will be deployed to destroy approaching asteroids. Alpha Wing will fly point for the Galate and destroy any asteroids that cross its flight path. Asteroids that are considered a threat to the Galate will be marked by white targeting brackets. Destroy these asteroids first. Once the Galate has jumped out, you are to report to the GTD Bastion stationed in Antares. The Bastion will take you to IKEA for your next mission. Your wing will rendezvous with the Galate and Beta Cygni upon completion of that mission. In the event of enemy attack, you are to cover the Galate's escape from the system at any cost. Hmm. Well, this is something. I guess we have to do, uh... Asteroid clearing duty. How fun. Anyway, let's get into it. And uh, try to, you know, clear the clear, clear the asteroids we are destroying here. And this thing is pretty impressive looking. I gotta say, pretty darn impressive. And can we get to that one? Shoot, 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 shoot. Gosh darn! Oh, I think we got it. Maybe. No, there's a scratch in the hole. Regardless, though. This thing does look pretty sweet with all its like forks sticking out here and it's just darn impressive gotta say so look at how big and massive this thing is just whoosh, huge anyway let's get back to our mission objectives and start clearing up some of these asteroids here there we go and why would you build a jump node in the in an asteroid field I don't even know it seems silly to me but uh, I guess Maybe the asteroid field wasn't here when they built it. As you can see, there's a runway here. Um, 
We can actually take off from there in some missions, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, I guess. And, uh, well, more asteroids coming in from down here. It looks like the ship's handling itself pretty well, not gonna lie. There's weird stuff in the background. More rocks incoming. Help me out, Alpha One. What? It's at 100% health. I don't think we need help. I don't think it needs help, really. It's not like you're. What are you even doing? What are you even doing? Oh, you're down there. Okay. Fine. You're doing something, but. Wait, you're almost dead? How are you almost dead? Alpha 2, you suck. Yeah, by the way, explosions from the asteroids here will damage your ship quite a bit, and I hope to not show that off. My goal is to not show that off, I guess. <laughs> because I don't want to die. And uh, yeah, some in some of these later missions, I'm going to be dying quite a bit. And that's uh, going to be kind of interesting to see. But uh, I'll try not to die too much. Oh, come on! Stop splitting! Gosh. This is splitting into it. Oh, gosh. Down to 99%. So we're, we're doing good. And it's got It's only got four minutes left, so... I think we got this pretty easy. Not really simple missing. Introducing you to the concept of asteroids. So yeah. No, we already had the concept of asteroids. What am I talking about? That was in the second mission we did. Yeah, if any of those shivas jump in, I got uh, dumb fire missiles now, so I'll be able to shoot them a little better, I think. And those should be able to get through the shields, right? I mean, they're missiles. You can't stand missiles. And uh, there was almost an example, but I, I managed to survive somehow. And what, Alpha 2, what the heck? You're dying. I think you can actually target the asteroids, yeah. And you, you can target the asteroids with Y and then get a lead indicator on them if you need to. If you don't know how fast they're going or something. Some of them can go pretty fast. And these white asteroids will actually have uh, time to impact, as you can see in the bottom left. So, you know how close it is to hitting the ship. Just a little tidbits of information, but you don't generally don't need them because... Uh, they have big enough mass that you can track them easily without having to, uh, you know, lead them too much and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Alpha 2, why, why do you suck at this? You're yelling at me and you're, oh gosh, that one hit. That was unfortunate. But our objective is to keep it above 50% and I think we're doing that quite nicely. Actually, I believe the bonus for this mission is keeping it above 75, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, though. So, we'll keep fighting. Keep trying to take him out. And if we can, that's right. But if we can't, oh well. Oh, shoot. Really? Alright. I'll help you. Oh, there's only two. Oh, there, there are these guys. Hey. All right. I'm waiting to show you some love, Monsieur Stoopies. That's right. That's right. How do you like it? How do you like it? <laughs> Eat missiles, you scum. Are you actually withstanding all this? Holy cow. 
You are a beast. I'm missing underestimate you, I guess. I'm out of dumb fires already. Dang it. Can we just kill this thing? That'd be beautiful if we kill this thing. Oh, yeah! Looks like we were shredding it. Oh, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. It's trying to warp out. Shoot it, shoot it! Get it! Get it, get it! Get it, get it! Ah! Oh, gosh dang it. We were close, I think. Whatever. Anyway, time to reassign ourselves to another destroyer. So we have a different admiral speaking to us. And uh, all that. So, let's get out of here. Affirmative, sir. Departing now. And collision danger, it's saying. Okay. Okay. Where am I not having a collision danger? There we go. Collision danger is kind of annoying, but it's kind of nice to not die while you're warping out, too. Which can happen. Welcome to the GTD Bastion. We just received a transmission from the Galatea. She's doing fine, and the bridge thanks you for the skillful escort through the field. You will rendezvous with her in the Beta Cygni system soon. We are currently underway to the IKEA system for your next mission. Well, all right. Let's take it on. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's kick some sheep in butt. Welcome to the GTD Bastion. The Bastion is on a special ops mission to investigate and acquire Sheevan technology. This includes weaponry, shielding, and stealth technology. Intelligence has determined that at least one point of Shivan entry into our space lies in the IKEA system. All right. At least five cargo depots of unknown origin have been located here in IKEA. These cargo formations are different than any Vasudan and Tyran formations and are believed to belong to the Shivans. Makes sense. Reconnaissance indicates that the depot is protected by six sentry guns on the outer edges. This depot provides a prime opportunity to gather more information about the Sheevan. Their offensive activity in this system is at a minimum, and we do not believe that they will make a serious attempt to defend this depot. Hmm. Long-range scanners indicate that some of these cargo containers contain unusual electronics. They appear to be similar to those used to give the Sheevans their shielding technology. Short-range scan of these containers is the primary objective <coughs> of the Further reconnaissance indicates another container group may contain parts for a Sheevan sensor array. A short-range scan of this group should provide crucial data needed to adjust ship sensors to attain radar lock on Sheevan fighters. Nice. Scanning those containers is your secondary objective. You will jump in approximately six kilometers from the cargo depot. Proceed to the cargo depot quickly and eliminate all sentry guns. This will enable our freighters to collect the cargo after you have scanned it. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna raid a Sheevan cargo depot, even though we haven't killed a single Sheevan fighter. Sounds good. Sounds like a great idea. All right. Lower with dump fires. That makes sense. Okay, let's go. It's too quiet here. Yeah, this doesn't feel right. Maintain radio silence, pilot. You have a job to do. Steven wing arriving. What? Oh gosh. Oh, that looks pretty. We've got another one. Really? hit me. There we go. Wiping out these. What the hell is going on here? Whoa, what? Did they kill their own cargo? What the heck? Oh shoot. Wing right there. Wing right there. Alpha wing. We've been set up. It's a trap. It's a trap! Oh gosh. Get us out of here, Alpha One. Most of the cargo has been lost. Scan the remaining cargo. We still need any data 
All right, all right. Got the sentry guns. Yeah, I agree. Sensor arrays. Okay. Try to scan all this cargo real quick before uh, we get killed. Luckily, they're not noticing me here doing this. So. Get out, get out. Wait, why can't I order them to depart? Oh gosh, there's the cruiser. Oh gosh, I'm, they're on my tail, they're on my tail. I gotta jump. I gotta jump now, gotta jump now. I may die jumping out, but I'm jumping. Okay, they're not chasing me, okay. All right, we got out of there, whew. It is fortunate that you were able to escape the Sheevan trap. Your persistence in obtaining the data we needed is commendable. While you were unable to gather the shield data, another of our IKEA task forces was successful in acquiring it. The data you did gather about Shivan's sensor technology will be vital in combating the Shivan forces. Our technicians now believe they will be able to implement a targeting solution for Shivan ships. Good work, pilot. Yeah, we can target those guys. We can see how much damage we're doing to them. All right, sounds good. Ready? All set. Starting sequence 52 gamma. Five, four, three. Power levels steady at 1.21 1 1 gigawatts. Six are holding steady. And sequence two in three, two, one, mark. That's it. It held. Reading 59% energy loss, but it held. The GTA has signed a ceasefire and non-aggression pact with the Vasudans. Command has already expressed great relief, largely due to the huge drain on military and economic resources the war has caused in the past few years. The end of the 14-year war should bring peace. Unfortunately, there is no time to breathe easy. After the third fleet lost the GTD Amadeus in the Vega system, the GTA uh, Amadeus, and Amadeus, the Amadeus. Have both declared open states of war against the Shivan forces. Unfortunately, not all the Sudan forces have agreed to the ceasefire. Reports have been received of attacks by a rogue group of the Sudans calling themselves the Hammer of Light. Hammer of Light appears to be willfully aiding the Shivan cause, citing some Vasudan legend about the coming of an all-powerful race. If you encounter any HOL forces, you are to treat them as hostile and are to use any force necessary to neutralize them. With the vital data gathered by the Galate at the IKEA depot, our technicians now know enough about Shivan technology to successfully target their ships. You should also be able to track them on radar. The Avenger cannon is now being loaded on every Terran and Vasudan ship in the galaxy. You will find these cannons far more effective against the Shivan shields. Ooh. New weapon. A strike squad sent from the 5th fleet into the IKEA system was able to recover some Shivan shield prototypes. Fully functioning versions of this technology are being developed for use on GTA fighters. The shields themselves are being transferred through the Beta Cygni system to the Ribos system. This shipment must arrive in Ribos. Report to mission briefing in 30 minutes. At roughly 1400 hours, a large convoy carrying one of our newly developed shield prototypes was deployed. It was expected that the Shivans would attack the convoy. The Sheevans destroyed the convoy. What the Sheevans do not know is that the convoy was a decoy. There were a total of four working prototypes, only one of which was destroyed. If it's a con, if it's a decoy, why would you even put one in there? You are to take two wings of fighters to escort <laughs> the three remaining shield prototypes. The Sheevans should think you are just another shipment headed for Beta Cygni. This is not the direct route to Earth, which should divert the Sheevans from our true intent. 
You are to accompany the freighters until the Vasudans arrive to escort them on the second leg. Do not leave the freighters until they have jumped to the Beta Cygni system. The Shivans have hit everything sent from this installation. Expect resistance. Many pilots lost their lives today that the chances for success on this mission would be greater. You will succeed. Dismissed. Oh, I will. Okay. So anyway, as you see here, we have the new Avenger Cannon, which is moderate hull damage, low shield damage, uh, compared to moderate hull damage. I don't think these actually damage shields. So uh, we'll actually be able to pierce through these sheep and shields now. Now that we have targeting lock, we can use the smart fail missiles to do some damage. And I'm going to tell you, this is probably the first mission that I'm probably going to die on, because this is tough. Let me tell you, so, uh, anyway, let's get into it. Look at, check out this cool installation here. Very, very epic. Convoy launching. This thing is huge. Look at us, we're just a little convoy lifting off. And that's me right there. Being crazy. We. Anyway. And we gotta get all the way over there. 14 kilometers, I believe that is. I don't know. Not exactly sure. And that's gonna take about 10 minutes. So this is about a 10 minute long mission. That's unfortunate. But, we should be able to handle it pretty nicely. If we just keep our wits about us and hunt down any Sheevans that do approach. Should be fine. We got six fighters. Should be able to handle it, I think. And hopefully that diversion is indeed uh, successful. Because uh, we need shield systems. And if we get shield systems, or if they can't pierce their own shield systems, that would be pretty cool. And home sun. And we got our first lock on a Sheevan fire, an SF Basilisk. And let's check out these Avenger cannons. And oh, yeah! Look at that. Look at that. We're damaging it. We're da First Sheevan fighter killed. There we go. We killed it. Killed one. And there's just so much cannon fire going on that this is why I died. Oh, we shredded that thing. We got another one coming. I'm already down at 89%, which isn't good. But uh, missiles kind of helped. I don't know if they actually succeeded. Oh, gosh. See, I'm already a quarter of the way dead. This isn't good. But they didn't damage any of the cargo, which is very nice. They could protect the cargo pretty nicely. And uh, what's that? Andromeda. The bonus objective is not to protect these ships, however, so I'm not going to do it. And uh, the bonus objective is actually to keep all three of these cargoes alive, because you'll see a little bit later, it's going to be pretty tough. And hopefully we can do that, because the uh, shield systems are good. And uh, maybe it'd be good to have them, you know. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're doing. Hammer of Light jumped in. Alright, what are they up to? So apparently this Hammer of Light is a trader group for the Vasudans now. And they're actually kind of a big organization. And they're going after these... Going after these freighters. Our orders are to escort Theta. And then disable it. And it's going to die. <laughs> oh, I, I, I do like how it radioed in to say, ah! Oh, really? Aren't they all targeting the cargo? Wouldn't that make sense? Oh, they're actually targeting it pretty nicely. Oh, shoot. I ran into the cargo and did damage to it. Stupid me. But are we defending against that wave? Beta... Two, oh gosh, there's a wave right there. They're jumping in right next to us. Balls to the wall. I'm not even going to target this guy. I'm just going to take him down. Boom. There we go. Told you. Come on, you fly boys. Give me some cover. 
Oh gosh, we're getting a lot of damage on our men. It's not good. And, uh, yeah, look at Cargo Gamma's almost dead already. So, not looking too good for uh, getting the bonus objective so far. But maybe. Just maybe. Hmm. And there's a stupid fly buzzing around my window. That's really annoying. And we got scorpions. Ah, finally get to kill one of you. Ah, are you tougher than those last ships? Nope. You died just as easy. There we go. Come down before they get to the cargo. No! No! Get away from the cargo. I think we're... Okay, we saved the car. Oh, gosh, they heard it, though. They heard it. I think I shot a missile at it. Not good. Why don't you use heavier cargo containers? That would have been smarter. And, uh, oh, these guys are fast and deadly. There we go. We got it. We got it. Boom. All right. We're doing good. Doing good. All three still alive. We got... Uh, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. And the uh, Hammer of Light is opponent noobs over there, I guess. And they're about to kill another transport, Omega-3. That's okay. And more fighters coming in. Uh, why did I shoot? Oh, I shot that way too early. It's not even leading to carry for missiles. I just launched that thing out there. Oh, that's not the one I'm targeting. Oh, well. I'm over it. And, uh... Oh, dang, that missile hurt. Gosh, I'm almost half dead now. Stupid basilisk. I don't like you. There we go. There we go. Doing some work. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're down to three fighters? This is ridiculous. Oh, God. Guys, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this mission. And uh, if I do die in a mission that's you know takes time like this, I'll just jump back in where I was, so don't worry about it. Like, if I die with, like, four minutes left, jump back in with four minutes. And, uh, yeah. So you don't have to watch the whole mission again. Now it's got too quiet. Why is it so quiet? I don't like it when it's this quiet. But we only have 340 left. So it's looking pretty good. Defend the cargo, save our lives. And uh, if we can defend all three again, bonus objective, I'm pretty sure. Although I'm not too sure. Not sure enough, I guess. And uh, how's this guy doing? Oh gosh, Alpha 3 has 7% left. That's not good. So we're pretty much at two fighters. And I'm half dead. And Beta 3's half dead, so I mean... Oh gosh! Can't handle another wingman. Okay, they're launching missiles. I understand. Gotta take them out, though. There we go. Woo. Oh, shoot, they hit me with a missile. It's on a 41%. But uh, all cargo is still secure. Although our fighters are not. <laughs> and uh, we're not doing very good. And uh, as you see, subsystems, uh, my com communications is damaged a little bit. But it, they heal themselves over time. As long as they're not destroyed. So that's nice. And uh, hopefully we won't get any subsystems destroyed soon. Uh, usually on a fighter, I end up losing. Oh, gosh. Oh, good. Wait a second. How do we know you're not Hammer of Light? Oh, you hate me? Well, maybe maybe if the Hammer of Light didn't just attack, we'd be a little less skeptical. But now we got plenty of fighters. Okay, so we're good. I think we're good. So any new achievements that are coming in are going to get wrecked by all these fighters like so. Oh, no. Beware, 
Terrans. There are members of the Hammer of Light in your midst. Oh gosh! I was right, I was right! They are Hammer of Light. Not good. Oh shoot. Why? Why do you guys want to ruin everything for us? You stupid traitors. Have to ruin everything. Got you, got you. I got you. I got you. Seth down. That's right. And against unshielded foes, the Avenger is very good as well. We still got all three somehow. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. But, uh... We do have Omicron 1 that's helping out, I guess. <laughs> We had one student fighter come in to help. That's why they wanted us to jump out. Because they were going to kill the convoy. And help the Sheevans. You pieces of poop. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And if you, you can look at my fire. <laughs> Lame. We're not a 37% anti That's not good. How about my allies? 39%, 7% still. Alright. And it uh, looks like we're going to get them. Getting all three. Very nice. Very surprised that I was able to do that, actually. This is definitely a hard mission, and I'm glad I got it done on the first run, because I think we're done. Uh, I just gotta wait for them to jump out. That was kind of sudden. <laughs> You've been damaged for a while. And there's one gone. Primary deck to complete. And then I believe we should get the bonus objective complete when all three of them jump out. We'll see in a sec, though. Yeah! Bonus objective complete, so another bonus for us. Alright, very cool. Alright, so we were able to beat that mission. Able to get shield technology on our side, and uh, that'll be very good for us. So everybody depart, and I'll depart as well. And let's get out of here. Superb job of defending the shield prototypes. You were able to save all three, which not only gives us the technology, but will help expedite its mass production. Your performance will go down in the books as a standard for future pilots to follow. Simply outstanding, pilot. In appreciation of your fine performance in our first operation with Allied Vasudans, we are awarding you the Vasudan Alliance Medal. Ooh, so we got our second medal. I don't know if that's because of the bonus or not, but uh, we still got it, which is very cool. So we have two extra medals now. But uh, I think that's all we're going to do today. These three missions. And uh, join us next time as uh, we may have shielding technology. And uh, we'll be able to fight back against the Sheevans a lot easier. So uh, thanks for watching. Burn Learn signing out. Have a good day.